My dearest brothers and sisters. This is Hakan speaking. I greet you in peace and love. In earlier messages I have discussed the path of breathing and the path of observation. The first one involved breathing slowly and deeply. The second one involved observing your thoughts and emotions as they come up, without judging them or trying to change them or suppressing them. I invited you to do both of those things daily, even if only for a minute each. Today I will share another path towards spiritual growth. However, contrary to the previous two paths, I think today's path will only be appropriate for some of you, at this current moment. One of the reasons for that is that the energies are rising very rapidly right now, and I know that a lot of you are already exhausted, or struggling in some area of life. I empathize, and for those people, rest or addressing pressing issues may be more appropriate at this current time than starting another spiritual path. Another reason is that this path will simply not appeal to everyone. However, if you do choose to diligently practice today's path, you may gain great spiritual growth relatively quickly. That path is Kriya Yoga. Some of you may have heard about it already, perhaps via Yogananda's book, Autobiography of a Yogi. In that book, Yogananda wrote that, 1000 Kriya practiced in 8 hours gives the Yogi, in one day, the equivalent of 1000 years of natural evolution. I personally wouldn't quite put it that highly. But I do agree that Kriya Yoga is a very effective way towards spiritual growth. The primary issue with this path is that traditionally it was taught by a guru to a student, and it is hard to find a good Kriya Yoga guru nowadays. Unfortunately, some who claim to be Kriya Yoga gurus are simply frauds. Other gurus are trying to do their best but they either don't understand the material that well or they're not that good at teaching. Furthermore, even if a guru seems to have his heart in the right place and has a seemingly proper lineage or is from a big organization, even then it is possible that he is teaching a form of Kriya Yoga that has degenerated over the centuries and is no longer that effective. It is not easy for a beginner to know who is a good guru and who isn't, and who teaches an effective form of Kriya Yoga and who doesn't. If you dedicate yourself to a guru who is either not that good or who teaches a relatively ineffective form of Kriya Yoga, then you can easily spend a lot of time and not accomplish all that much. If you have a good intuition or a good connection with your soul, that can help you find a good guru. You can also use manifesting techniques, set the intention to gain spiritual growth, so as not to limit the universe in how it can help you. Think wise and benevolent beings, forces and aspects of existence, please help with my intention to gain spiritual growth and then take action in that direction by for example asking your friends or asking on message boards if they have any suggestions. If you have resistance towards gaining spiritual growth, you can observe that and perhaps even dive straight into that by thinking I wish to observe my resistance to developing spiritually and then observing whatever comes up, if any. Another option is to do Kriya Yoga via a practice workbook. This is not the way it was traditionally done, and absolutely it is better to learn Kriya Yoga from a good guru. However not everyone will have access to a good guru, and the workbook I will recommend will be much more helpful than a bad guru will be, or a seemingly good guru who teaches a degenerated form of Kriya Yoga. Kriya Yoga is still very beneficial even if you have to learn it from a book. If you cannot find a good guru, then the book I recommend is Kriya Secrets Revealed by J.C. Stevens. The form of Kriya Yoga taught in that book is effective. Finally, note that sometimes people confuse Kundalini Yoga with Kriya Yoga. Those two forms of yoga are not the same. Kriya Yoga is the one I recommend. I hope this was helpful to some of you. I leave you today in peace and love. I know that life on earth can be very intense right now, but I promise that better times are coming in the medium term. Your star brother. Hakan.